it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Let me first apologize that I have been lacking in the video department um, over the last couple days. We had company in town, we just got back from being um, out of town ourselves for a week and then just, you know, life is just, it's crazy sometimes. And then we got a billion um, order orders for the little garden baskets that we're making. These guys right here. These are ones that are going out still. These little guys, we got a bunch of orders for those. so. Kind of took priority over you know filming videos unfortunately but i should be back now i'm trying to <laughs> get it back in and make it a priority even if it is something short like today's i promise i'll have a frugal friday for you i'm actually going to film it after this um i'll have a frugal friday for you white chicken chili it's one of our favorites i make it a lot and i'll uh, have that up on friday morning so i gotta figure out times because i keep posting what i call I set it to go Friday morning, East Coast time. And then if you're on the West Coast, it actually goes up Thursday night. So I'm working on figuring out how to fix that. But for those of you that live on the West Coast, lucky you. Anyways, um, today's video, like you probably read, is how to make hummingbird food. Right now it is, I don't even know what day it is, right? It's the end of March for us, March something. And uh, it's the time that the hummingbirds are just gonna start migrating. For us, it's from Florida and coming back up into the states. <laughs> not that Florida's not a state, by the way. But um, it's the time that you want to start putting your hummingbird feeders out. What you're trying to do is you put them out early so that when they are flying by, you have the best nectar ever and they just want to stay with you all summer. So that is our goal, is to show you guys how to make the best hummingbird food. I'm a lazy hummingbird food maker because we um, feed them a lot. We have uh, quite a few feeders, and so since we have quite a few feeders and we get a lot of hummingbirds, I do the microwave. So here it goes. Oh, yeah, we'll start there. So the ratio you want to do hummingbird food. Please stop buying it at Walmart or fancy bird stores. It's it's simple syrup. You don't need to go get the stuff from the grocery store or the store or wherever you're getting it, the red stuff. That is basically what I'm doing today. And then to make it shelf stable and pretty, they add a little bit of red food dye and other stuff. You don't need that. The birds don't need it. They can smell it. They'll stop anyways. So um, this is easy and it's cheap. Mm, there you go. So um, I, like I said, we have mass quantities of hummingbirds that come to our house. So, I make 10 cups at a time because we have five feeders. You don't have to do that. The ratio is for every one cup of water, you need a quarter cup of sugar. That is what I make most of the year, but here's your trick. When you're trying to get them to stop when they're migrating back up into your area, you want to give them a little extra sweetness because then you taste better than the neighbors and they want to stop at your house and stay there because you basically drugged them. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is instead of one to four, which is what I will switch to maybe in a month and do for the rest of the summer, I'll do one to five. One to four, one to three, one to three. <laughs> I said that backwards because that would be diluting it. We had more sugar when they're first coming through to get them to stop. So um, I microwaved eight cups of water for five minutes. If you do a smaller quantity, definitely don't do it that long. You want it to be hot enough that it's going to melt your sugar um, easily, but don't burn yourself. So I have my eight cups of water and I'm going to do on a normal time, I would do two cups of sugar. But like I said, we want to be the sugar mamas. We want them to stop at our house and um, thoroughly enjoy the nectar at our place. So I'm going to add some extra. So I'm actually going to go with three cups, which is um, way too much and they're going to love it. We buy sugar in 25 pound bags at Costco or Sam's Club because we make so much of this during the summer. So I just dump it in there and give it a whirl. If you want to make it red, you can. I would advise against it. They don't need that. It's just so that you can look and see if your feeder's empty. Basically, that's the reason they do it. So, no need. All right, our sugar is slowly diluting in the bottom of our um, thing here. 
and that's easy. Now I'm going to show you the other little fun trick. Um, everybody has hummingbird feeders and they get expensive y'all. Like there's, yeah, glass ones and fancy ones with like bead dangles on them and all that. You don't need all that. You don't need all that. Okay, these guys, Walmart, they're under $2. They were, I've, we've had these a couple years, but um, they're usually like in a box laying on their side. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I think they're $1.97 maybe, I don't know. They're somewhere around there. Maybe I'll try to find a link. But what I like about these ones is they're plastic, so I can't break them. They come apart a couple different ways. You can twist this part and take them apart like this, which is great. But this bottom piece, actually, if you twist it, it comes apart into two, which is awesome for cleaning your hummingbird um, feeders. Because you, if you get any black uh, mold or gunk on your feeders, it can actually harm the hummingbirds, and so you really need to keep them clean. So this one that I have found, um, it's, it holds two cups at a time, so I don't have to fill it quite as often, which I like. And um, you can clean them really easily. So like these ones, I'm terrible. I should have taken them down when winter hit, but they didn't. And so they were really, really gross. Uh, so I soaked them in some hot water, which is a little bit of dish soap, and they cleaned up beautifully for my little $2. I think they're $1.97. I'll try to find it. But um, if you guys buy them now before everybody else starts putting their feeders out, props to you. So yeah, we had one or two hummingbird feeders. And then last year, my husband, maybe two years ago, my husband was like, Oh, if we added them on our screen porch on these posts, we might get more. Now we get, I mean, we sit out on the porch and we watch them just go crazy. It's awesome and we love it. Um, I'm not gonna fill these in here, but the other thing is they do, I think this part comes off. Yeah, you just pop it. So if you want them to be able to just totally sit, you can do that. And I usually fill these outside because I'm dumping sugar water all over my counter. So basically, it's just clear liquid, ta-da and um i will take these outside i wait for it to get a little bit cooler um, before i go feed the hummingbirds although they don't really care because it cools down pretty quickly um but i will fill all five of mine and i will go hang them out in the backyard and i'm going to catch those hummingbird before they um head farther north to uh, south carolina or north carolina or virginia or any of y'all i'm gonna take your little hummingbirds and they're gonna be living in my house all summer so get you uh i love it because they're very territorial too. They run each other off. So you sit in the backyard and it's like a crazy festival. It's super fun to watch. So make some hummingbird food and feed your little birds. We thoroughly enjoy it. If you don't, my bad. Maybe you don't, but we're just, uh, we're bird people. Like I told you before, we actually are certified as a wildlife sanctuary in our backyard. And um, we gotta feed our hummingbirds to keep them around. So. There's your uh, recipe, one cup of water, fourth a cup of sugar, or third a cup fish, maybe half a cup this time of year to draw them in and then lower it down once you have them. So there you go. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate you guys. If you have any, I promise we're gonna post again soon. We'll have more videos coming. I'm gonna work on filming a few more, but if there's anything you guys wanna see, I'm trying to get better at um, getting a schedule back in order. I was doing so good, y'all, and then such is life, right? <laughs> Anyways, go make hummingbird food. And if there's anything you want us to uh, show you how to make or recipe, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to see what our nonsensical selves are up to each week. Thanks for watching.